In a mysterious forest, a man was trying to find his way out. He had trouble figuring out the directions, so he followed the sun. In the evening, he came across a strange sign that said, point of no return. Even after the sun set, he kept moving forward, but worry was clear on his face. As he ran, he ended up back at the same sign he had seen earlier, which meant he was either moving in circles or something else was going on. All the birds flew away from the trees before it got dark. The man realized he couldn't escape the forest. With nowhere to hide, he started climbing a tree. Unfortunately, he fell from a high place. Now it was dark and something pulled him away. In the end, we could only hear his painful screams. Six days later, we meet an American girl named Mina. Mina lives on an island and works at a pet store. She doesn't seem very happy, maybe because something happened in her life. She is alone and doesn't have many friends or a boyfriend. There was a special parrot in the store that a zoo had bought. Mina's boss asked her to take the parrot to the zoo herself. Mina agreed and brought the parrot home with her because she was leaving the next day. The parrot could say a few words. That night, Mina went to a bar wearing a wig and met a man, but she gave him a fake name and lied about her job. This proves that Mina isn't very serious about her life and likes to take risks. After traveling all day, she entered the forest by evening. Secretly, she reached the middle of the forest. She didn't realize when she got out of the car. Hoping someone nearby would help her, she got lost. This is the same forest where the man had disappeared or died. Mina was also scared. Suddenly, the birds flew away from the trees. Mina kept moving forward with the parrot, feeling like someone was around her. The ground began to shake, scaring Mina. Then she saw an old woman running and followed her, calling out to her. Mina lost sight of the woman for a moment, but then heard her call from a distance. The woman seemed to be, to be near a house. She told Mina to come inside, quickly, if she valued her life. Mina ran towards the house, and as soon as she arrived, the woman locked the door behind her. It wasn't a house, but a strange, large room with a big mirror on one wall. Besides the old woman, there were two other people, a girl named Kira and a boy named Daniel. Mina asked what this place was. The old woman, Madeline, explained that it was a cage, but also a safe house for them. She said they were all lost in the forest like Mina. Madeline didn't want to scare her, but warned that they had very little time because the watchers were coming to see them. She reassured Mina not to be afraid and that everything would be fine. Everyone stood in front of the mirror in a line. Mina didn't know what was outside, but the others did. Madeline says she is happy to see Mina and tells her to move forward. Suddenly, a strange voice starts echoing in the forest. Madeline explains that the voice is clapping for Mina. We see a view of the forest which gives us a sense that the Watchers are bad. We aren't shown what the Watchers look like, um, and Mina doesn't see them either. As the night passes, Madeline tells Mina they can only come out during the day since the Watchers only appear in the darkness. Mina decides to leave to take care of her parrot. Kira warns her that it's not a good idea and that she'll get lost in the forest. Kira also emphasizes they must return before nightfall. Despite the warning, Mina doesn't listen and heads out, using the sun's direction to navigate. However, she can't find her way out and ends up at a dead end. She has no choice but to return. Madeline comforts Mina, telling her she's not the only one who has tried to escape. Everyone has, but there is no way out. The forest attracts souls, shows strange things, and can drive people crazy. Madeline advises Mina to stay with them for now, explaining that the forest is a hunter and they are its prey. She shows Mina a signboard and explains that these signs are placed in a circular pattern around the safe house, about half a day's distance away. If you go beyond these signs, it becomes difficult to return, so they mustn't be ignored. Mina asks who created all this. Madeline replies that Kira calls the creator the professor. Mina stays with them for a while. The same thing happens the next night. The watchers come to see them, and Kira dances in front of them. She says that the watchers like them. The mirror in the room is one way, so they can only see themselves in it. Now, it wasn't necessary for them to stand in front of the mirror every night. They could do whatever they wanted inside the room. The watchers would observe them from outside as if trying to understand them. Strangely, there was electricity in this small room in the middle of the jungle. Madeline had been there for a long time, while Kira and Daniel had only been there for a few months. The danger from the watchers was present at night, but they also had to survive during the day. They collected food from the jungle and passed the time watching TV in the safe house. The next day, Mina went with Kira into the jungle to look for food. Mina asked what the Watchers wanted from them. Kira replied that she couldn't be sure, but Madeline had a theory. The Watchers could see them, but if they saw the Watchers, they would go crazy. Kira explained that there were many holes in the jungle, leading to an underground tunnel system. 
They were not allowed to go near it, but Kira shared this information with Mina in confidence. Mina was surprised to learn that Kira and her husband had been there for six months. Kira's husband's name was John, and he had gone to find a way out six days ago. Kira hoped he would return with help, but in reality, John was the man we saw in the beginning of the story. Later, Madeline, Kira, and Daniel explained some rules to Mina to help her stay alive. The first rule was not to turn her back to the mirror at night. The second rule was not to open the door after dark. The third rule was never to go near the pits in the jungle. Mina would always have to stay in the light. That night, when everyone was sleeping, Mina tried to listen for any sounds near the mirror, curious about who might be outside. Hearing nothing, she broke a rule by turning her back to the mirror. This made the watchers go crazy, and they started banging on the glass. Madeline told Mina to stand in front of the mirror to calm them down. Like everyone else, Mina didn't want to be stuck there. The next day, while hunting with Daniel, she asked him if he had ever seen a watcher. He said no and suspected that maybe the story was made up by Madeline. Despite Daniel's caution, Mina decided to explore one of the pits. It was deep and Daniel, curious as well, joined her. Inside the pit, they found lots of human belongings, possibly from previous people who had lived there. There was a camera, a bicycle, and other items. Using a rope, they brought some of the stuff up. However, Mina found something in the dark that couldn't be exposed to light. When they returned, they told Madeline they found the items in the jungle, not mentioning the pit. Madeline, having been there a long time, knew where such things could be found and often asked Mina about where she got that, but Mina didn't reveal the truth. The purpose of bringing the bicycle was to travel more efficiently. Daniel also set up the camera they found outside, hoping to see the watchers. Madeline didn't stop them, but she knew this could lead to bad results. One night, they were all sitting together, but the watchers hadn't arrived yet and the door was locked. They noticed that whatever was outside, its picture on the camera wasn't clear. This had never happened before. Suddenly, they heard John's voice speaking. Mina. Kira, hearing her husband's voice, wanted to open the door, but Madeline stopped her, insisting that it couldn't be John. Kira was very worried. Madeline suggested Kira ask a question that only John would know the answer to. Kira asked about a specific book that John should have known, but the voice couldn't give the correct answer. This proved it wasn't John, although it looked and sounded like him. The imposter broke the camera, and then the watchers, in anger, started breaking the glass. Everyone was terrified, but luckily, the watchers didn't come inside. The next day, Mina and Daniel confessed the truth to Madeline. She was very disappointed that they had broken the rules. They put all of the items back into the pit. Mina had no choice but to stay there. Time passed and winter came. They continued to go into the jungle during the day to find food and return to the safe house at night. Mina had also made a map, hoping it might help her find a way out. We learn about Mina's past and why she doesn't meet her family. She only had a sister who got married. When Mina was young, her mother's car accident was caused by her mistake, resulting in her mother's death. This was why Mina was always sad. Kira was losing hope, realizing her husband was probably dead. One day, she went near the pit to take her own life, but Mina stopped her. That same day, there was also a fight between Madeline and Daniel. During the winter, they struggled to find enough food, causing them to lose their mental balance. One day, Daniel went to the safe house with Kira alone. Madeline and Mina were outside, and as evening approached, they begged Daniel to let them in, but he refused to open the door. Forced to hide under a tree, Madeline and Mina waited as the watchers began to arrive. For the first time, Mina and the viewers saw the light of these creatures. They were tall, fast, and very dangerous. Realizing that Mina and Madeline were not inside, the watchers grew angry and started searching the jungle for them. Mina and Madeline took the opportunity to get close to the door and somehow convinced Daniel to open it. They rushed inside just in time. Madeline was furious with Daniel, but she realized that they had broken many rules and might not survive. Madeline then revealed a secret she had been keeping. She explained that she had come to this jungle while studying ancient mythology, not by accident. She was searching for a species mentioned in old stories, referred to by some as changelings and by others as fairies. However, what she found were demons. Madeline explained that she had seen one of these creatures in the jungle. It looked human, but with a disfigured face and a much thinner body. These creatures were learning and trying to understand humans. Every night they observed humans to learn how to be like them. Madeline had heard their voices for months, and they sounded exactly like people. The creatures were mimicking human speech and wanted to come inside. Madeline warned that the iron door wouldn't hold them off because they were very powerful. Just then, Daniel noticed something on the floor, a hidden door to a bunker. They all quickly went down into the bunker and were surprised to find it had been there all along without their knowledge. Inside the bunker, they found enough food and supplies to last for many years. This bunker belonged to a person named Martin 
who they referred to as the Professor. He had known about these creatures, which he called fairies, and built this place. The Professor envisioned a world where humans and fairies could live together in harmony, creating a wonderland. The Professor had discovered these fairies and brought people to the jungle, promising them money. However, once it got dark, the Watchers would attack and kill them. The Professor, aware of the secret, hid in the bunker. One day, the Professor found a fairy that was different from the others. He brought her to the bunker, but over time, they turned against each other. Despite this, Mina wanted to know how everything ended. She played the last file where the professor recorded his final moments. In the video, the professor was preparing to kill himself and the fairy. Before dying, he revealed the way out for anyone who might be trapped in the jungle. This information gave Mina and the others a glimmer of hope. They now had a chance to escape, thanks to the professor's final message. The professor's final message instructed them to follow the birds to escape the jungle, and once out, to go to the university and destroy all his research. He admitted he had made a grave mistake by coming there, and that he could never create the world he dreamed of. The group was surprised, but relieved to have a way out. They planned to leave the next day. The following morning, they emerged from the bunker to find the room in shambles, everything broken. They followed the professor's instructions, with Mina freeing her parrot and everyone following it. They were supposed to reach a lake where they would find the professor's boat. Along the way, they found a grave. Madeline shared a story about how these fairies once lived with humans like gods, but as humans changed, they turned against the fairies, imprisoning them in the forest. Over centuries, the fairies lost their magic and couldn't leave the forest on their own. As evening approached, they hurried because it started raining and the sun was setting. The watchers were about to emerge from the ground. When they reached the lake, they found the boat. However, Daniel lagged behind because he wanted to help John, who appeared injured, but it wasn't John. It was a fairy who had taken John's form. The rest couldn't save what Daniel in time. The fairy marked Daniel's forehead and killed him, then took on Daniel's appearance. The fairies couldn't cross the river, giving the group a chance to escape the strange jungle using the boat. The next morning, they found a bus and traveled back to the city. A few days later, Mina went to the university where the professor had conducted his research. She intended to destroy it as she believed it was the right thing to do to prevent anyone else from venturing into the jungle. While at the university, Mina discovered something new. Thousands of years ago, these fairies lived harmoniously with humans, caring for each other and even saving human children. She also found pictures revealing that the professor's wife was actually Madeline. To confirm this, Mina met with Kira and learned that the professor's wife had died of lung cancer long ago. This led the professor to discover the shape-shifting fairies and create a way to live with his wife again. This meant that the Madeline in the jungle was not human, but a half-breed, half-fairy, half-human. Madeline had been with them the entire time, and she was the only one who successfully got out of the jungle. As Mina discussed this with Kira, she realized that the Kira she was speaking to was actually Madeline in disguise. When the real Kira arrived, Madeline knocked her unconscious and attempted to kill Mina to keep her secret safe. Madeline revealed that everyone in the jungle thought she was strange because she was the only one who could come out during the day. She believed she had been cast out by other fairies because she was different. Mina told her the truth. She wasn't just different, she was special because she was a half-breed, part human and part fairy. In the past, some fairies had children with humans. Mina reassures her that, that she won't tell anyone about this secret and suggests there might be more fairies in the world, same like her, who are not just watchers and can live a normal life. Upon learning the truth, Madeline's magic returns, and she decides to leave Mina alive. She flies away, her powers restored. A few weeks later, the story shows Mina living with her sister. The experience in the jungle had changed her. Mina confides in her twin sister about Madeline, mentioning that she still feels like Madeline is following her. She often sees her as a small girl, possibly indicating that Madeline didn't find anyone else who would accept her. Mina's sister comforts her, assuring her that everything will be fine. In the final scene, we see a young girl who is actually the fairy, Madeline, wandering the world in this form. This marks the end of the film. We hope you enjoyed our explanation of the film. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel.